Find the angle between 0 and 360 degrees that is coterminal with the angle of 700 degrees. So the first step of this is to actually graph the given angle of 700 degrees. Since it's positive, we know we're going to be rotating counterclockwise around this, and all of our degree measurements now are going to be positive. Okay? 270, etc. Then after 270, what would we reach? Since this goes up to 700, why don't we keep going? This would then be... 360, right? Then what would this be? Well, that would be 450, right? Then what would this be? Well, we keep adding, if you notice, we keep adding uh, 90 to it, right? That would be 500 and then 40. So maybe I'll put that above it, 540. And why don't I put this 360 kind of on top for now? All right. And then if I kept going, right, another, another rotation, if I added, that would have been 630. All right, and then if I kept going, that would have been 720, and I'm going to stop there, okay? Because I know now I've, you know, if this essentially two full rotations is 720 degrees, this is 700, so I'm less than that, right? So watch. We first start our initial side on the positive x-axis, and then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this terminal end that I'm now jiggling, okay? And we're going to rotate it 90, 180, 270. 360, 450, 540, 630, 700, okay, 700. So that whole thing now, this full rotation of 360 plus then another little bit here represented 720 degrees. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, 700 degrees, sorry, 700 degrees, all right? Now, obviously, how much more is left to get to the full 720? Well, obviously, this is 20 degrees in here, and that might help us out in a second, okay? We know that that's 20 in there. Now, actually, let me just write that in red because I don't want to do it in blue. So this is going to be 20, okay? Now what we got to do is we have to now create a coterminal angle. In other words, we got to start the angle on the same initial side, positive x, and now this terminal end that I'm jiggling has to now be coterminal. In other words, just rotate this. Don't go around the circle more than once, all right? Just rotate it fully so that you match up with the terminal end there, okay? All right. Now the question becomes, how much did I have to rotate there? What do you think? Well, you might say, well, the full circle would have been 360, Andrew. But I noticed that, you know, you're 20 shy of 360, so would that mean that it's just 340? degrees? Uh, yeah, that's what it would mean, okay? That the blue part here is just 340 degrees, that's it. All right, hopefully that makes sense, and that looks like a 26, so I don't exactly know what happened there, but that was supposed to be a 20. All right, that's it, guys. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for tuning in. Check out some more of our videos. I'd love to help you with more stuff. Take care.